Hey everybody, welcome to Reading the Bible to Cats. Esther just heard some fireworks going off and it kind of alarmed him a little. It is the 4th of July and um, I'm just here making a few videos. <laughs> I'm going to post this tomorrow on July 5th. So, yes, some fireworks are going off. It's okay, Guster. Yeah, it scares it scares the pets. Guster, it's okay. It's okay, Gussie. Guster. Yeah, he doesn't like the fireworks, but it's okay. Okay, so let's read Psalm 5. Uh-oh. Well, actually, it's also raining out there. Okay. Psalm 5. Listen to my words, Lord. Consider my lament. Hear my cry for help, my King and my God. For to you I pray. In the morning, Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I lay my requests before you and wait expectantly. For you are not a God who is pleased with wickedness. With you, evil people are not welcome. The arrogant cannot stand in your presence. You who hate all who do wrong, you destroy those who tell lies, the bloodthirsty and deceitful, you, Lord, detest. But I, by your great love, can come into your house. In reverence, I bow down toward your holy temple. Lead me, Lord, in your righteousness because of my enemies. Make your way straight before me. Not a word from their mouth can be trusted. Their heart is filled with malice. Their throat is an open grave. With their tongues they tell lies. Declare them guilty, O God. Let their intrigues be their downfall. Banish them for their many sins, for they have rebelled against you. But let all who take refuge in you be glad. Let them ever sing for joy. Spread your protection over them, that those who love your name may rejoice in you. Surely, Lord, you bless the righteous. You surround them with your favor as with a shield. Hey, everyone, that was Psalm 5, and we've got fireworks going off. And Custer doesn't like it. It's a little unsettling. Um, so let's, um, yeah, so that Psalm... Yeah, I like how he starts off with just, you know, with a lament. He's really asking the Lord to hear his words and consider his lament and hear his cry for help. And he trusts in verse 3, in the morning, Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I lay my request before you. He trusts that the Lord does hear him. And then, you know, that verse 3, he's um, waiting expectantly, which is a good thing, you know, to wait expectantly. I need to work on that because I don't think I wait expectantly, you know, in hope. I kind of wait, I've said this before, like wait fatalistically. <laughs> wait for the other shoe to drop, as I've said before, you know, where you, you kind of wait for the next bad thing to happen instead of waiting expectantly and, and trusting that the Lord hears your your prayer and your request. I think I, I certainly would be a lot happier if I did that. <laughs> so that's going to be my takeaway tonight, to wait expectantly. Okay. Right. Let's pray. Let me move the camera just a little 
that we can see a little bit of this black face. This black goodness. There. And let's say a prayer. This will be short. Lord, um, help me. I confess I don't, like I said, I don't really wait expectantly. I wait fatalistically. <laughs> Expecting the worst. Help me to wait expectantly and hope and to trust that you hear me and that you love me. And I pray for everybody who's listening um, or watching that you help them to wait expectantly and to trust in you. To trust that you hear them and see them and that you surround them with your favor as with a shield and that you spread your protection protection over them. Help us, Lord. And I pray, Lord, for, again, for the peace of Jerusalem, for the peace of Israel, and for the remaining hostages to be freed. And, um, yeah, we lift all this up in, in, to you and pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, everybody, I'm actually going to make a few videos tonight because um, I won't be in town this weekend and the kitties, um, well, they will be fine, though. The kitties are, you know, looked after and fine. But I, um, yeah, so I'm going to make another video now. All right, bye.